Hi everybody, this is Anne from Tango Space. Hi guys, so nice to see you here. So our job, uh, Pablo and I, is to help tango dancers to dance more elegantly, get more clarity, have more fun dancing and meet friendly people with our tango lessons. If you are a tango dancer who wants to keep your tango journey alive, even if you are socially distancing, or then we have a special um, announcement for you, which is why I wanted to go live to speak with you guys today. So um, we are conducting a series of free tank musicality masterclasses this coming weekend. So if you're somebody who is worried that you are not musical enough when you are dancing, you are worried that you are maybe boring or always dancing the same movements or doing movements in the same way. If you are not sure about how to really express the music and be yourself when you are dancing, um, if you're a follower, for example, who doesn't know how you can actually influence your partner and be an active part of musicality, then this webinar is for you. We are going to really simplify how to approach tango music and help you be much more um, true, authentic and creative in your ability to express it. So during this uh, webinar, it's called the four pillars of tango musicality webinar. We are going to walk you through, we are really going to simplify tango musicality for you. We are going to teach you four things. We're going to help you recognize the style of tango music. So there are three styles. And I want to tell you, we are not speaking about tango, vals, milonga. In tango, there are three styles of tango music, guardia vieja, milonguero, um, and tango salon. And you want to know these styles. You want to know the orchestras. You want to be able to recognize them and adapt your dancing to them. So we're going to speak about these, the three styles of tango music. We are also going to help you hear the phrasing in the music, whether it's rhythmic phrasing or melodic phrasing and how to listen to, to, to the type of music or phrasing and how to choose what you want to, to dance to, depending on, on the type of phrasing in the music. So how to hear it, what to dance to it. We are going to help you understand the different movements that work well with different types of uh, music, so different moments of music. There are moments that don't work well with some, some parts of tango music, whether the music is more melodic, for example, or soft, or the other way around. So we're going to help you choose your movements better. And then finally, we are going to show you how the tango followers can influence their partner's musicality. So that's a, like an amazing teasing, I know. Um, believe me, it's going to be much better when uh, we are live this weekend and Pablo is with me and we have a lot of time to discuss and teach you a lot of stuff and make you listen to music. Um, so if you want to join us, we are conducting four of these this coming weekend. It's free um, and we've, we're conducting four so that all of you from different time zones can actually join us. So I will put the link in the chat box. Click on the link, choose your favorite time. The times are in your time zone. So, and then join us whenever you're, whenever you're ready. And if you want to improve your tango musicality with us. I'll put the link in the comments. I really hope you're joining us. I just want to let you know that at the end, we are conducting a live, a live Q&A where we are answering all of the questions we will have received during the webinar. So we are limiting to 200 people max per session. So if you want to join us, make sure you join us now. You sign up now so that you don't um, you know, miss your spot. Okay, that's it for today. Really hope to see you this coming weekend. And uh, thank you so much for watching. And as my partner in crime would always say, please keep learning, keep sharing your dancing because the world of tango does need your embrace. Bye guys. Speak soon.